Hello everyone. Well, today I'm going to be unboxing a new in the box factory sealed Dirt Devil 1100 watt cylinder vacuum. Now, I wasn't sure what era this is from. I guessed it was a 90s vacuum. I don't remember seeing these. I wouldn't have been really interested. But I have been able to date this roughly because there's a label on this side of the box which says well it was bought from a shop well an online well it would have been a catalogue retailer more than an online one JD Williams who are still going to this day and it's got the date the 2nd of June 1997 under a label that says resolved query hmm well, let's, I just don't know what sort of query they could have had with this, but it has been resolved. Let's hope it's not a return, but I mean, it's got these straps on it. And it seems sealed up. Now, I have a feeling this could be a dirt devil that's made in Germany. Because I was uh, looking for bags for this and I found some genuine bags for this machine and they were made in Germany so it makes me think perhaps this dirt devil is made in Germany we'll have a look it's very interesting oh dear oh dear me oh no that's okay I thought this was I thought this was a returns note it's not bit more information here this was um, this is a customer advice note from JD Williams and this cylinder vacuum cost $54.99 and the date on this is the 23rd of May 1997. I wonder if I can return it now to JD Williams for my $54.99 back. Right, let's have a look inside. Well, we have two spare dust bags we have an instruction book with a spare parts order form where I can order five paper bags for my Dirt Devil which cost £5 per pack plus £2.75 postage here it is the instructions very boring now and we can extend our guarantee if we want to. First out is a crevice tool. And this is a bit different. It, it's all feeling quite cheap. But again, it was 54 99 in 1997. So that would have been cheap. There we go. Right, ooh, yes. Oh, there's a little bit of a metal strip there for some reason where there should be a litter picker. Or is it just metal colored plastic sticker, perhaps? It's a little bit sort of Japanese-y, Hitachi-esque, this head. We've got, oh, it is poor. We've got an odd sort of <laughs> brush that, uh, can you see how that bows? upwards I don't know if it's supposed to a brush for hard floors at the back up for carpets yeah feels VV cheap maybe this isn't made in Germany after all oh well this is a unusual shaped dusting tool isn't it for a budget cleaner one of these long dusting tools and we also get a regular dusting brush as well I hope we get <laughs> I hope we get a furniture nozzle crikey these are very different looking this has suffered of course many dusting brushes suffer from the old bed hair don't they when you have bed head when you wake up if you have hair you can wake up I remember those days actually not that long ago I remember waking up 
and my I'd been sleeping in a funny position and my hair was all stuck up and if I didn't have time for a shower one would have to put loads of mousse and gel to keep the hair from sticking up. Oh, memories. Distant memories. Now this seems plastic, this wand, but I think it's telescopic. This is a very unusual little machine. Judging by the tools. So yeah, there's a twist, twist and release. Twist to lock it, twist it to release twist to lock it again well that's a shame if there's no how am I supposed to clean my upholstery folks without an upholstery nozzle unless there's any tools on board but I wouldn't have thought so right terrible waste of plastic isn't it when they do this manufacturers still do this right well <laughs> I'll do that off camera because that's I don't think that's going to be a quick job. So anyway, I'll show you the hose. Oh, it's got quite an unusual hand grip, but I'll show you that when I've unwrapped it. So out goes that bit of packaging and uh, we've got the familiar Dirt Devil Red. Oh, oh yes it does. I thought it, I thought the box was illustrating something that wasn't on this cleaner, but it is. And what's this, I wonder? Hmm. Well, it's just a bit of packaging with an elastic band around it. A bit odd. This is a this cleaner's a bit odd, you know. Ooh. Well, it is it is factory sealed, but I don't know where it's got all this muck from. This needs a bit of a polish. Oh, well, it looks a brighter red on my, um, oh, it is so cheap. If this is made in Germany, they need to, the German people need to hold their heads in shame. Okay, before I look at this a bit closer, I'm just going to have to give it a bit of a polish because it's, it's caked in muck. Well, I've uh, polished this up the best I can, but unfortunately, I'm not at home at the moment. I don't have my full array of polishes. So I've had to spray a bit of pledge on this and buff it up with a cloth. So it's not uh, it's not perfect, but it's at least it's uh, it's so so cheap. Looking at my viewfinder, this it looks quite nice, but they say the camera never lies. Well, it's telling a few porkies in this video cuz it looks so nasty. It feels nasty. Anyway, according to the box, this has an 1100 watt motor, a 3.5 liter bag capacity, five meter cord length, bag full indicator, auto cord rewind, 360 degree swivel hose, three, count them, three stages of filtration and variable power. It's model number DD102. Right. Well, here it is, model DD102, Dirt Devil. It's got a little, uh, a little cover, hasn't it? Look, it's a cheapo. Oh, it's so cheap feeling. What's this going to sound like? I'm, I'm guessing noisy. So, you've got a little cover for the hose inlet. Open. Does it come off? Yes, I had a feeling it would. Oh, it comes off with the bag. And inside here, we have more very, very cheap, cheapo plastic. This has to be made in China. Made in China on an off day. And that's saying something. Let's have a look at this marvelous filter. Ooh, well, marvelous filter that, mm, I think is on the verge of perishing. Hoping, it, hoping it's not gonna, I think it'll, withstand a little go. I mean, it's just a bog standard sponge. I've got plenty of uh, this sort of stuff back home in black. It won't matter, will it? It's quite a nice, you won't be able to see it, but there's a nice shiny looking motor behind that. So that's one stage filtration. 
I suppose uh, the bag's the second and possibly there is an exhaust filter. Now how do I get this back on? <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure I levered it out, didn't I? Now, is that it? No, oh, there we go. Oof. Here's the bag, which is, you know, wow, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big capacity bag, that. Look at that. It is, it is large. How do we get the thing off? Open, close. Ah, oh, here we are. We've got some instructions. Press here to remove slash replace dust bag. We've got a little bit of a, a seal or a cat's bottom as somebody once described this on a, on a video I did before that's got one of these. These always remind me of those old fashioned towel holders. You remember those fit coat folks? Kiddies. <laughs> well then that looks rather <laughs> yes, um, yes, they're very similar. Um, you may still be able to get them. But there were these things you stuck on the wall and screw to the wall and then your towel would just shove in and it would hold onto the towel. Peekaboo! Right, so that's, yeah. And uh, yes, that hole there goes towards the, uh, the piston bag check indicator here. Wow. I mean, this makes the Hoover Enigma look like a SIBO. No, maybe not. <laughs> I don't think it matters which way it goes in, does it? As long as we locate it that way first and put it back like that. Okay, well, that's it for the, uh, for the bag. Ow. Nearly pinched my hand underneath. Oh, crikey. You got a swivel caster, two wheels. I don't think we'll glean much information from this. It just says Dirt Devil model number DD102. Power supply AC 230, 240 volts, 50 hertz. Power consumption 1100 watts. No country of origin. I expect if it is China, they were so ashamed to produce this. They didn't want to even show that it was from China. Ooh. That feels a little, it's got that sort of mm, stickiness to it. Clearly this machine should not have stayed in its box for so long. Oh, we've got the old uh, do not pull past this point sticker. Do we have a red sticker? Oh yes, definitely don't pull past the red. Let's let it go back in. We do have a fitted plug, which would have been a legal requirement when this machine was uh, in the shops. It's all covered in something horrible. Um, I wonder what it says on the plug, where the plug's made. No country of origin on the plug either. We've got an exhaust, but is there a filter? There is a filter, but not <laughs> not a usable replace user replaceable filter. And then the deluxe features include photo operated on off switch, auto cord rewind, of course, and this fantastic. Oh, cry. This is poor. Can you see? I don't know if it's you can see on camera <laughs> there as I'm turning the knob. It, it sort of veers off to one side. It doesn't sort of... Can you see that? <laughs> oh, crikey. Why did I buy this? Now, I don't know if I've left it in... No, I think I've put it in minimum. You know, folks, I bought this on it. Oh, it was just out of curiosity more than anything. It's uh, certainly nothing I'd want to sort of keep in my collection. It's not like one of those cleaners that... Uh, I'm so pleased to have because I'm not pleased to have it. I'm pleased that I can show you on my channel and it's another different vacuum to show you. But as far as keeping it, 
in the collection that's highly unlikely unless I find out it's very very rare and worth a lot of money okay well I've, I've plugged it in I'm still going to give it a bit of a wide berth I don't know if it's on or off we'll soon find out it's off right You stink. Right, it's got a. Oh, it does smell. I'm just hoping that's new motor smell and it will bed down and stop smelling. Now, it doesn't swivel here. Oh, that is a smell. That's the sort of smell I don't like to smell, folks. Right, which way does this go in? Oh, it is shaped. Mm, yeah, that way. Is it? Doesn't want to go in. Why won't you go in? Oh, hang on. I see. Uh, is that it? Mm. Oh, Ecky thump. Yeah, that is the way. I'm doing it the right way, folks. It's just. Oh, heck! <laughs> right. I think it's clicked in. I think. Well, I'll show you the hose because, um, well, to open, to get the plastic off the hose, I couldn't save it, folks. I would have been all night trying to pull it off the hose. I had to cut it off. Right, hang on, let me just get comfy. So the hose does swivel, which is good. Oh, oh, it does. Oh, that's, I thought it doesn't swivel at the hose end. But instead, how bizarre, it swivels here. <laughs> and look, look at this, folks. Does this remind you of the Hoover Sensotronic System 3? No, but that looks like there may have been a deluxe version of this <laughs> with some sort of a remote control. Otherwise, why have this panel here? with two screws that is bizarre the way that that moves this is well if you're going to buy this if i'm selling this on ebay now and you're watching this video it's a fantastic piece of cleaning history get it for you and you'll enjoy it for many years to come but really it's <laughs> how's that going to stop the, the hose is kinking up and i'm not even using the thing Right, where's me uh, doobly? Oh, this. This thing here. Right, it goes in this way. I mean, it's... feels strong. Strong enough, anyway. Let's just I'll extend it fully. Pop the old uh, doobly on. Now, I got another Dirt Devil from the same seller. Um, I won both auctions. Uh, I think this was about 40 something so a bit less than it would have been new the other Dirt Devil item which you'll see at some point is a rechargeable broom type machine that nobody else wanted because I won it for 99 pence so that might be a bit better than this one but I'm gonna have to stand up see if I can get the feeling back in my legs ah right well that is a f So I'm assuming, folks, you're supposed to hold the handle here, not not higher up here. Don't hold it here. I think you're supposed to hold it here, so then at least it can sort of swivel. Yeah, it's a very wide cleaning head. Right. Just trying to unkink the hose. This is awkward. Right, there, finally, finally. Uh, okay, I think it, yes, I think I left it on highest speed. I can't imagine that this has got a soft start feature. We'll find out.
that is surprisingly quite nice to push that nozzle it is a little sh it's quite short if you're any taller than me you're gonna have to be stooping down so it's pretty short but um, on this carpet it, it runs quite nicely so you know it doesn't clamp itself down where's my suction gauge I, oh, there it is there it is whoops and there goes my box cutter right I forgot I um, was going to end the video here because I don't think there's a lot more I can show you with this but uh, then I remembered I remembered my gauge so we will just have a look so it's 1100 watts what does a 1997 1100 watt dirt devil produce on the gauge <laughs> Well, that seemed to peak at around 64, which isn't very efficient. I think a, a standard Henry peaks at around 80 with a 620 watt motor. And this only peaks 64 with an 1100 watt motor. Well, there you have it. If you had 55 pounds to spend in the late 90s, this is what your 55 pounds could have bought you but it's from JD Williams. So if JD Williams operated like a traditional mail order catalog company, it means that the products sold in it would have been more than they would cost in the high street. I've never seen this in the high street. I'm not sure if Argos, that's, that's quite warm already there. I'm not sure if Argos sold this. I've seen, you know, the most popular dirt devils we got in the UK was the uh, handy, a little uh, handheld one with a revolving brush. We did get a few other models as well, but this certainly is somewhat, I think it's somewhat of a rarity. I'm not sure if you have any information, please comment below. Do you um, remember seeing these outside of a catalog? Did you remember seeing these in, a, in an actual store? Have you seen them in Argos? Did you own one of these in the nineties for any reason? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think, I think they would have just sold in catalogues because I think if this was in a showroom and you looked at it, you'd give it a wide berth. I certainly would. But then, you know, oof. oh, there's not much more. <laughs> there's not much more I can say. I'm just, yeah, just left. I just, I'm, I'm just left feeling rather dirty. I'm, I'm just feeling dirty, folks. Let's rewind the 5.5. No, sorry, the five meter five meter cord at least this is going to work is it I don't know oh. Oh. that nearly nearly took my hand off well that's certainly uh, vigorous where's my thing I don't want to I don't want to lose me do boy the little thing I took off here it is or is it that is that the one I don't want to lose my little plug thing so there you go folks thought I'd show you it uh, can't see me really using this I don't know we'll see I might keep it for a bit see what you say about it in the comments uh, but yeah this is a dirt devil from 1997 and this was this if, it, if this was 1997 now and YouTube existed in 1997 and I was showing you this I'd say nah don't bother don't bother buying that folks it's got the most bizarre <laughs> bizarre cleaning tools where's me crevice is me crevice at least that looks relatively normal but then you got this thing no upholstery nozzle I'm assuming this is an upholstery brush I, I think that must be what that's for folks that uh, long dusting tool I wonder if Dirt Devil tell us in the instruction book what it is oh dear the dogs are barking right I'll have to go and sort them 
It's Daisy May. She's not up here featuring. She's saying, why aren't I featuring in the video? I'm just going to have to go down and see what she's barking at, folks. Oh, sorry about that, folks. I've no idea what she was barking at. She was staring into space, barking at nothing, but I had to go and check. Um, pretty appalling instructions. <laughs> Attachments may be attached here or at the end of the telescopic wand. So floor nozzle hose, small brush attachment, crevice tool attachment. Um, hmm. Well, it's an extra because this long tool is not illustrated in this fabulous brochure. It's um, just showing the crevice and the Rundbust. Oh, I'm looking at the German. The round brush. Small brush attachment is the round brush. Crevice tool. Yeah. So anyway, folks, as I said, if YouTube was, was available in the 90s and I just bought this, I'd be saying, don't get it. But if you're a particular fan of Dirt Devils and you want it now, and I'm going to be selling it on eBay, then pay a lot of money for it because you will love it. But I, <laughs> I don't think it's very good at all. But I'm sure there's someone out there who will disagree with me. There may be somebody watching the video now that would absolutely love to own this 1100 watt Dirt Devil Cleaner. If you have any comments or questions about this, please comment below. And I'll see you all very soon for the next video. I'm just going to now, when I go, you won't see it yet, but I'm gonna push this to one side, chuck it to one side and bring in another Dirt Devil to have a look at. Let's hope that that is a bit more interesting than this one. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.